Welcome to another episode of our Tech Spotlight video series here at Drift and Decode. And for today, we're going to be talking about the Salesforce Optimizer feature on your system setup. We're going to be discussing what it is about, how will you set it up on your system setup, and as well as what are the benefits that you're going to be getting if you want to utilize this feature. Let's get started. So before you dig deep into setting up your Salesforce Optimizer and as well as running your Optimizer in your Salesforce org, let's quickly discuss first what it is about. So Salesforce Optimizer is a tool within your system setup. So it's not an app exchange package. It is within your system setup that you can utilize for you to determine what are the issues in your current Salesforce organization in terms of your current configurations, your user setup, your system setup. And in order for you to generate logs and generate recommendations for you to optimize and improve those existing processes. For example, with the optimizer tool, you will be able to find out your user logins, what are the existing permission sets, what are the critical um, processes, workflows that are currently running in your system that you can further optimize to improve user experience and as well as the um, system analysis. So let's go now into setting up your Salesforce Optimizer configuration in your setup page. So let's go to the setup page and on your quick find search on the top left here, search for the keyword Optimizer. And let's just quickly search for it and then click the Optimizer option. And in here, once again, Salesforce Optimizer is a tool that will help you analyze your different implementations and configurations within your Salesforce instance, and as well as find ways for you to improve and optimize in order to deliver um, further user adoption and better user experience. And on your Salesforce Optimizer app here on the bottom right, so the Salesforce Optimizer app analyzes features in an interactive and actionable format. And you have three steps here to configure. The first one is for you to allow access to enable the Salesforce Optimizer app. So this is just basically um, giving you the power to allow access or to revoke access, basically just allowing the app to, yep, run Optimizer or revoke access for the specific period. The second one is for you to set the frequency on how often the Optimizer app um, should run or should um, validate your configurations. So we have two options here. The first one is for you to be able to run the optimizer automatically every month. And the other one is just to select no scheduled run, which means that you can just manually trigger your optimizer feature. And the last one here is the open optimizer button. So this one will direct you to the optimizer page. And at the very bottom, most importantly, you can join a Trailblazer community. So on Trailblazer, there is a, an, Optimizer Salesforce group that you can join in if you have any questions, issues, or any other known issues that you want to be made aware of. So just jump straight into this Trailblazer group and you'll be um, finding out a lot of information about it. So let's go now to your Optimizer page. So on the Open Optimizer button, just click this one and it will direct you to the Salesforce Optimizer page for you to analyze your different metrics. So in this results page, it shows you the different recommendations that the Salesforce Optimizer app had discovered in relation to your Salesforce instance. So this can range from user management on how you set up your users, um, uncovering how often they log in and what are the profiles and permissions that they're using, and as well as the different reports and dashboards that you have configured in the system, what are the unused dashboards and reports, and as well as the different org security that have been implemented in your system. So for example, let's take a look at the user logins feature that the optimizer has uncovered. So let's click on the user login and on the right side here, it shows you the results that says that you have three users that haven't logged in lately in your system. So with this result, it will help you analyze or it will help you uncover what are the different licenses that you have in your system at the moment, and it will help you analyze the usage that all of your users are doing in the system. And you're gonna be having a, an intelligent discussion amongst your team if you need to ramp up your licenses or if you need to um, reallocate licenses to upcoming users. Likewise, if we go next on the profile assignment under user management, 
it will show you on the results page that you have five unassigned custom profiles. So this means that, yep, you have created a lot of profiles in your system, but you also need to know if these profiles are being utilized by your different users, else you have the decision to make if you need to keep the profile or you just need to remove, deactivate, or delete the profiles from your system. And if you want to know more about that particular result, on the top right here, so we have here the view in setup button. So you can click this one and it will direct you to the specific setup page that that particular optimizer recommendation is related to. So earlier we discussed about the profiles. So here it directed you to the profiles landing page and it's gonna be up for you to assess the different profiles and as well as improve your profile assignments. So let's go back on our Salesforce Optimizer results page. So on the top left here, we have the Run Optimizer button. And also we can see here the timestamp on when was the last time that the Salesforce Optimizer results have been generated. So in this case, it has been generated two to three hours ago. And you have the option to run the Optimizer again if you want to generate another set of results. Lastly, you have the option to also export the results of your Salesforce Optimizer uh, metrics. So the result is being saved on your Salesforce files section. So on your app launcher here, just type files and then click files. And then on your file section here on the right side, you can see that the Salesforce Optimizer um, Excel file have been generated a couple of hours ago when we run the optimization. Mm -hmm. You can literally download this one if you want to analyze this externally in the system or if you want to create an Excel file, manipulate and then upload the results back into Salesforce through your custom object for you to further um, analyze insights, create dashboards and reports or um, create some workflows and process triggers for you to um, keep track of those changes that you have um, improved through the results. And that's it guys. That's the Salesforce Optimizer uh, function in the system. And once again, this is a free tool within your Salesforce instance that you can utilize if you want to assess the health risk of your system or what are the improvements, recommended optimizations that you can further do in order to address the different issues in terms of probably issues that your user encounter um, as well as unused resources or underutilized resources. So you can um, make use of Salesforce Optimizer to do all of these things. And that's our topic for today for our Tech Spotlight video and see you on the next set of videos here at Drift and Decode.